left Australia with many insights that we're going to work on. Right now we're in Africa, unfortunately without Jochen, but I've heard Africa is supposed to be one of the most beautiful countries on this planet. So I'm extremely excited and our engineers are as well because there's lots to work on. So we're going to hit the road right now. What is very important to me is pedestrians because we experience pedestrians in all of these three situations. So we have them on highways, rural roads and city. Potential surprises for a self-driving car um, would be big potholes, but also falling rocks from, from the cliffs that are uh, sitting on the street that you need to swerve around uh, and very narrow streets we found here in, in Cape Town as well. So very complicated situations for self-driving car. Just like in Australia, as soon as you leave the city and drive through more rural areas, there's many signs drawing our attention to the wildlife that is all around us. We've seen signs with penguins, monkeys, springboks, uh, special uh, toads. So we obviously want to pay attention to those, not to run them over and not to endanger other road users and ourselves. So for future self-driving cars, it's important to learn how to recognize them correctly and to have a good strategy on how to react. Map data is a key factor of a good function. And of course we tested that here on very scenic and very curvy roads. And the system performed very well and we have a very good version of our map data software. And this is of course very good also for the system. What we have not seen neither in Germany nor Shanghai or um, in Sydney is sand actually on the street where you cannot see the lane markings anymore. So we're learning to expect the unexpected and anywhere else in the world there could be snow, there could be leaves, there could be anything else obstructing the lanes and the visibility of the road surface. So that's what we want to get better at and to learn how to deal with. Our multi-beam system can detect pedestrians and shine a spotlight onto them, assisting the driver to see them correctly and pay attention to them, but also to inform the pedestrian on the road that the car has actually recognized the pedestrian on the side of the road. Africa was beautiful. Many things to see here, especially for the project, what we've encountered here. We're gonna analyze those things in more detail. Jochen will be meeting us in the United States. Our final stop for the Intelligent World Drive. I've been there many times, but not with this one, so gonna really look forward to that.